absolutely, yeah, Grab TSA. We have some idiots trying to record everything and telling us that they do not have to not be able to record. Where? You do need to get permission to film no, inside here. I have permission. From who? From the First Amendment of the Constitution. Oh, they're not trying to comply. Let me see if I have... Do you want to charge them? Or? They're trying to say that they're going to remove us from the building. Uh, because Who we need a that? permit. Are you going to apologize us to tell us you're going to have us escorted out of the building for doing this? You can film. Go ahead and film. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by Denver Metro Audits. It was accompanied by Donut Hole Audits on December 13th of 2021 at the Denver International Airport. Since the airport opened in 1995, endless rumors and theories have swirled around it. Everything from secret tunnels, strange paintings, and even an evil horse statue that ended the life of its creator. However, that is a topic for our second channel, The Odd Side, which will be debuting its first video in the coming weeks. If you haven't yet, check out the links below to find it and channel links to Denver Metro and Donut Hole Audits. The two went to Denver International Airport to film the location, its unique architecture, and new remodels. When asking for information, they were confronted by several employees of Clear because they were filming. Seriously, you can't her. do that. Can't I can't record her? No, you this can't. This is privacy stuff. I'm sorry, but it cannot be filmed. you can't block my camera, Yeah, man. you can't you record can't, us. You cannot. No, 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 no. Hey, look for at this. Privacy, she's her... For privacy purposes, you are not allowed to record this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's no privacy in public, man. Um, this is a secured area. This cannot this be recorded. This is not a secured area. I'm, okay. This is open to the this public, man. This part right here. You, guys can't you better get you a supervisor. You better this. get a supervisor. Ma'am, what's your name? You need to identify yourself. I do not have to identify myself. You're trying to give me a, uh, orders. You need to identify yourself, ma'am. Hey, you better get a supervisor down here. Can Jeez. I get a manager to enrollment? We have some idiots trying to record everything and telling us that they do not have to not be able to record. Where? Yeah, these ladies are, are getting a little bit unprofessional, telling us that we're not allowed to record. This is a restricted area. This yeah, is not this a restricted is, area. This is a private company. This is You're open. not allowed to record what we're doing without consent. Oh, no, from absolutely the not. You better get uh, this somebody else. This is clear. Else. This is not TSA. You can't. Doesn't matter, you ma'am. You're in public. Clear. This is public. This is public this property. This is a private company. You Doesn't don't matter have permission if it's or property. consent to film I can go record this. Subway, too. They're private property, also. Ma'am, you need to get educated. You need to get another supervisor or maybe call the police, but we're not going to stop recording, ma'am. We're allowed to do this. This is a first Amendment a protected activity. We're allowed to record in public. This is public. That's fine. You can record. You just can't yes. record clear. No. Clear you mean, is like, a private company. You cannot record I can what record we're doing. Anything I can see from a public space, ma'am. Okay. That's the law. Then go ahead and record me. Okay, absolutely, I will. Okay. You should educate your employees that I'm allowed to record. It's the first thing. You are not allowed activity. to record what they are doing in their absolutely business. Absolutely not. That's that is not, not true. acceptable. That's absolutely not true, ma'am. Grab TSA. That's absolutely, yeah, grab TSA. The clear employee asks for TSA as she is concerned that their operations are being filmed. However, public photography is protected under the First Amendment. While Denver has its own permit requirements for commercial photography, they are only applicable for very specific shoots, such as film crews over five people using pyrotechnics or generators. As they wait for TSA, the conversation continues. Well, let's say I'm driving on the street with my dash cam and I'm recording private businesses as I'm driving by. Is that illegal? Is that a crime? You can't record our operations. No, that's not that's true, ma'am. I, I, you cannot record our operations. I'm telling you, you do not have permission from the company of Clear to record our operations. I don't need permission, ma'am. So what makes you your specific operations so private that we're not allowed, that it violates the First Amendment? Like, I can go record Subway, right? That's lawful. What makes Clear so, uh, so much different? We are a private company. So it doesn't matter right. though, you're in public. So we're if a, if a, a subway company. employee walks by here, you're telling me that we're I'm not allowed to record company. them? We're a private company. The company that so we is Subway. Work for, no, it's not. You, you, don't, publicly not, you don't understand we're the not. law. Sir, you don't understand the First Amendment. Okay. We can record anything from public space. But okay? if somebody asks you to stop recording them, you should have the common decency to stop recording. Decency can be a typical common ground if voluntary. However, as soon as the clear employees called for the response of federal law enforcement agents, it becomes necessary to film for personal records and personal safety. Eventually, Denver Police Officer Sikos arrives on scene. Hi, how are you? Hey guys, what are you guys doing? What's it look like we're doing? Filming. Yeah. What are you filming? We're 
Don't know what we can see in a public space. What's that? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Seacoast 99008. Thank you. We're just over here, just recording, just like you see. It's all. You have no business here, though? We do have business here. You're, you're traveling? You guys we, taking an airplane we, out? We don't answer questions. What's that? We don't answer questions, sir. Okay. Yeah. Is your body cam on? So you guys are just coming to instigate and stuff? We're not instigating anything. We actually asked this lady uh, a question and then she freaked out that we were recording her. So we just stayed and we're documenting this whole interaction. So okay. we knew that the police were You know coming. what, I think they're concerned that you're recording personal pro personal identification off uh, the computer well, screen. That, that, that they're concerned. <clears throat> I'm just saying. That doesn't matter. You know that's the law, why I, That's you... why I'm here. Just a few moments in, Eliza Camp from Terminal Operations intervenes. I'm the airport operations, the airport operator. You do need to get permission to tell no, me. I have permission. From who? From the First Amendment of the Constitution. Okay. Yeah. We can't have you filming this in This is a here. public space. Okay. This who is are you? Can you, can you identify you yourself? Ma'am, if you're giving directions, you need to identify yourself, ma'am. What's your name? Um, I'm Eliza Camp from Terminal Operations. Okay. And you do need permission to film inside no, here. So I have I'm going to have to ask you. you to go about the proper procedures no. to get that This is a public space, ma'am. I'm allowed to record in here. I'm telling you, you must have permit to film I'm telling you here. that I don't. Eliza refers to permits. Denver International Airport is owned and operated by the city and county of Denver, which means they have the same requirements for obtaining a permit. Okay, and then you're going to have to be escorted out. Okay, yeah, well, okay. what's your name again so I can make sure who to file Eliza lawsuit? Camp. Eliza. I'm with Terminal Operations. I can give you a phone number that you can contact you if you would like to film inside. You have a card? Just right over here for dinner. Okay, awesome, thanks. Can you please Business put the car? camera down for one second so no, I can speak with you? No, there's no way I'm going to turn the camera off. Okay, no. well, I'm going to have to ask you to go route the proper procedure to film inside here, okay? You have to get that approved. No, ma'am. For commercial use, we do. This is not commercial use. So what would you like to film today? Let we want to film anything that. that we can see in from a public space without being harassed or molested. That's what we want. Okay, we are not harassing you. We're asking you to. Absolutely harass me. You're telling me you're going to escort me out of the building? That's unlawful, ma'am. You can't escort us out of the building. We're not committing a crime. Okay, well. And you this have gentleman to get a should be educating you right now in the law. He's the police officer here. You have to have a permit in order to film inside here. For commercial you have to get use, ma'am. We've done from our, our research. PIO. We've done our research, man. We are allowed to record in a public space. This is a you First Amendment protected activity. You cannot film or anything of the I sort. I can record anything I can see from a public space, ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna have to have them escorted out. Um, you guys need to go about the proper procedures. I can give you phone numbers if you'd like to contact our PIO and to get permission to film inside, okay? Would you like that information? Would you like that information? Want to charge them or any permits or anything? The officer asks Eliza if she wants Denver Metro and Donut Hole charged, as if it were her job to direct a law enforcement agent. But without orders to follow, he stays put, unsure of what to do. This guy right here swore an oath to protect our right to do what we're doing, and he's not doing anything about it. He's taking sides with them. That's a that's a shame. That's a disgrace. Do you swear an oath to the Constitution, sir? What do you guys work? Are you guys on a blog or what do you do? Why, I'm like, why are you recording? That's just my, I don't. You're talking to us. What's up? You guys are talking to us. You're I know, but them. why do you guys come to airports and film or film? Are you guys on a blog or what do you do? Is this just for your personal? This is today's reminder to not answer questions. After standing around for a while, Officer Ricardo Damien arrives on scene. We're filming us. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, he's got, he's got a pretty sweet little ride right there. I don't know, man. I'm talking to the What's up, guys? Hey, not much. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, yeah, so... Terminal Operations talk to you guys? Yeah, yeah so we're just over here uh, engaged in a, a First Amendment protected activity. We were just recording anything we can see from a public space, which is completely lawful. And uh, we asked actually one of these employees over here, uh, 
clear a question about where the, we can find the information desk. And she kind of uh, freaked out and said, we're not allowed to record. And they, they called you guys over here on us. So we're just documenting this entire interaction, but we're not breaking the law. And they're, they're trying to say that they're going to remove us from the building uh, because Who we need a that? permit. Like a the, the lady, the PIO right here, I guess, the one that's in charge. She's the, so that's terminal operations. If you guys are looking for information, anybody in a purple shirt could direct you. Yeah, yeah, we figured that out. Yeah. But then they, they called you guys on us and, and saying that they're going to kick us out. And no, 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 no. The officer was asking if they... So, I don't know what they told you, but we're down here because you guys clearly were saying there was somebody down here trying to get some kind of information as far as off the monitors. Oh, so no. So, you guys not, aren't filming the monitors. We're not trying to film monitors. We're all, that's why we're just standing by. Oh, no, we're not. We never no, were, we're trying to get... We're just standing by. There's nobody over there pretty much the whole time you were there. Yep. You guys are lawful of what you're doing. You're filming and you're good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Can I get your right name and badge number? It's Ricardo Damien, 9102. Hey, we appreciate you, Daniel. Yep. Okay, guys. Nice. Thank you. Yep, be careful. This guy over here, your friend, he said that he asked this lady if if, uh, if he wants us to, to get charged with a crime. So, are you the supervisor? No, I'm not the supervisor. She's terminal operations. They, okay. At the airport, if you guys, she's going to explain some stuff to you. Normally, uh, I think when they see the camera stuff, they ask for different different uh, issues. Let's hey, guys. I have a phone number for the PIO if you want it. Do you guys want that? See if you can film anything. Uh, yeah, actually, we might do that. Can we, is that where we file a complaint too against you? Go ahead. That's yeah, fine. go ahead. We'll okay, so up. if you want the PIO number where you can contact and see what you can film, just do not film the security checkpoints. Do you understand? We were never filming the security checkpoints. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you do not film the security checkpoints, sir. Why would you tell us not to film security checkpoints? Because when you're never not allowed to first. We were doing that. Okay. So would you like a phone number? You should not me. run with scissors. Don't eat yellow snow. I mean, I can give you okay, directives well, too, right? <laughs> okay. Go ahead and do whatever you guys would like to do. Do yeah. not film the checkpoints. Exactly. Checkpoint, so please. are you going to apologize us to tell us you're going to have us escorted out of the building for doing this? You can film. Go ahead and film. Well, no, That's I'm fine. asking for an apology for saying you're going to have us escorted out of the building. I'm not. I'm not apologizing. Do you guys want? Do you guys want the PIO? Because your number? pride and egos in the way, ma'am. Your pride and egos in the way. We're allowed to do this. We just proved that. Okay. I'm asking you not to screen the check or film the checkpoints. Okay. See, look, she's got to give directives. She's got it the last word. Pride and egos on the top of the rock of Gibraltar right here. Okay. All right. Do you guys need anything else? We never needed anything from you. Okay. We would like. Well, actually, we do day. need something from you. We'd like an apology. Yep. Wow. You're dismissed. The two stuck around for a while and continued to record for a considerable amount of time, during which they were confronted by more employees, private security guards, and TSA agents. Hey, were you guys uh, filming the, the checkpoint? Yes, no? We don't answer questions. Hey, can I get the uh, DPD up here? Oh god, here we go again, guys. Fortunately, the Denver police wouldn't respond a second time. The video concludes with a fantastic conversation with James Tyron, a volunteer for the airport and longtime fan of the auditing community. We'll just go on the website, we'll figure it out. First minute, can I get a, a contact so I can watch me? Yeah, yeah, you can, man. Awesome, Bill, we'll put you on there since you've been so cool to us. Do you watch audits and stuff on YouTube? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know, people, they cameras freak him out. It seems he was one of the only ones who knew their rights, and even commented on the original video. Perhaps some of the non-volunteer specialists, who are hired specifically for security, including the security of our rights, will eventually learn them someday and work just as hard to preserve them. If you like this video, be sure to head over to Denver Metro and Donut Hole Audits channels to check out the full interactions and show them some support. Their links will be in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it, or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.